A South Jersey church is one of the latest victims in a series of catalytic converter thefts all across the region. Earlier this week, we told you about thieves stealing converters from school buses. Eyewitness News South of Jersey reporter Brandon Goldner reports from Mount Laurel, where the church has an inspiring message for the thieves. As he drove into Fellowship Community Church in Mount Laurel, Pastor Tim Hunt says he noticed something unusual underneath one of his church's vans. I pulled in and I pulled next to one and realized there was a piece of pipe underneath that was laying there. So I crawled underneath and found out that the catalytic converter was cut out of the one van. He soon discovered his church's other two vans also had their catalytic converters cut out. Surveillance video shows over the Thanksgiving holiday, thieves pulling into the church's parking lot in a minivan and within minutes stealing catalytic converters. Pastor Hunt estimates it will cost the church $6,000 to repair the three vans. It's frustrating because it's, uh, it puts a lot of people um, out of money and also out of um, transportation for a while. The church uses the vans to drive their seniors to activities and take kids on field trips. This theft at the church happened a few days before Gloucester Township Police say thieves stole the same parts from six school buses. So why does this keep happening? Police say catalytic converters contain precious metal which thieves try to sell for scrap. Police departments throughout South Jersey say it's gotten to the point where thieves have gone so skilled at quickly sliding underneath cars cars and stealing the catalytic converters. As both Mount Laurel and Gloucester Township Police Departments continue their investigations, Pastor Hunt says he and his church forgive the thieves. We're not going to hold this against them. We're not going to hold grudges. We would love to, if they're seeking help, we'd love to help them. So whether the thieves take up the pastor's offer remains to be seen. In Mount Laurel Township, Brandon Goldner, CBS3 Eyewitness News.